Howdy. How y'all doing? I'm back again. Um, I feel really, really ignorant because I cannot for the life of me begin to comprehend or understand what it is about the farmer's market that makes you think that putting us out of business is going to bring more money into the city of Loveland. If you're taking money from us right now, I can guarantee that a lot of us are just not going to be here from the market, and the market will die. Um, I also think that I'm really confused about the whole concept of it. I mean, I, from what I understand, you're wanting to, is that you're going to be wanting to fingerprint me and charge me a certain amount of money to come into town to do this. Am I, am I wrong about this? Is that what you're wanting to do? You want me to be fingerprinted and have a background check so that you can be sure that I'm safe? I'm asking, seriously, could, could you be doing the, the, the floor is yours? Yes, the floor is mine, thank you, and I appreciate that. That's why I asked the question. I was hoping for a response that you could clarify this to me. This is not, this is not a, a give and take. This is your opportunity to speak, so uh, we're very happy to hear whatever your opinion is. There will be discussion among council, and uh, I'm sure you'll uh, um, be around to, uh, to, to hear that later. Okay, but I won't be able to talk about it then, right? That's correct. Okay. So, just, just as a reminder, uh, so the point that I'm oh, making. You're welcome. You're welcome uh, to speak at the uh, courtesy of, of council. There's nothing uh, that uh, in in the law that requires council to allow people to come up and speak. Oh, you're but I appreciate that. Thank you. Entitled to be at the public meeting. So uh, you're our guest. We welcome you, um, but we're not. I'm, I'm tickled no end to be here. Uh, question and answer. So if you'd uh, just please uh, uh, conclude your comments. Well, then I, I will continue on with my comments then. Um, the, the very fact that you are introducing, uh, 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 taking more money from us in order for us to be here doing the farmer's market is the thing that is going to kill the farmer's market because you do know that the other vendors that are normally here can go to any number of farmers markets in the area that are not far away three to five miles there's there's all kinds of them and pay no money at additional charges um, but I will say that I am very happy to live in a land where the rule of law is the important thing the rule of law is what we follow this is a nation of laws, not a nation of men. Which means that you will be enforcing any law that you pass now equally amongst everyone in the area who is going to be attempting to sell anything that is normally like, such as a hawker or a peddler's uh, method of doing so. And so I am happy to see this. I will be paying very much attention to how the voters react when they find out that their daughters and the Girl Scouts selling cookies need to be fingerprinted. <laughs> and that their sons of the Boy Scouts selling popcorn need to be fingerprinted. And I'm really looking forward to that. I would like to conclude with a very, very simple little thing from one of my favorite, favorite movies of all time, it's called Kelly's Heroes. Donald Sutherland delivered this line in Kelly's Heroes as oddball. The line is, <coughs> that's a barking dog. Thank you.